Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how I made my very own all natural oil treatments. A leave-in oil treatment, a hot oil treatment and a body oil. The amount of each ingredient used is based on my personal needs and the size of my storage container. First, I'll be working on the leave-in treatment. The ingredients I'll be using include extra virgin olive oil, 100% African shea butter, 100% virgin Jamaican coconut oil, eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil, a heat proof bowl for mixing, an applicator bottle for storage and easy application. Finally, an assortment of measuring utensils for measuring ingredients. Now, let's get started. Olive oil is composed of small molecules, making it easy to penetrate the hair shaft straight to the cortex to create and seal in moisture. It repairs damage caused from regular wear and tear and resolves frizzy and dry texture. I'll be starting with 90 ml of olive oil. The vitamins and essential fatty acid normally found in coconut oil nourishes the scalp and helps to remove serum buildup from hair follicles. It is able to penetrate the hair strand and prevent protein loss making it fit for a deep conditioner. I'll be using 2 teaspoons of coconut oil. Eucalyptus oil has antifungal properties that can ward off infection, restrain residue buildup, and clogging of the pores. It improves thickness and overall health of the hair. Note, however, that an overuse of this can reduce shine and result in greasy scalp. Being that this is a leave-in treatment, I'll be using quarter teaspoon of eucalyptus oil. Tea tree oil is an antibacterial and antiviral which prevents scalp irritation and hair infections. It restores all replenished nutrients from hair thus preventing hair falls. It cleans all blockage in the pores, moisturizes by nourishing the scalp. I'll be adding 5 drops of tea tree oil. The anti-inflammatory qualities of shea and its rich vitamin A and E content soothes dryness by locking in moisture, repair breakage and mend split ends without leaving a greasy residue or clogging the pores. She has a low amount of SPF which helps to protect the hair against UV radiation and hot hair tools. I'll be adding 1 teaspoon of shea butter. Use a double boiler or a microwave to warm the mixture until the butter is fully melted. Use a mitten or a towel to carefully remove the bowl from heat source and allow to sit and cool. After mixture is fully cooled and at room temperature, Carefully pour into an applicator bottle. Use a funnel if you need one. Then top up with extra olive oil. I typically use this leave-in oil treatment in my lock method to oil my scalp and to generally rehydrate my strands. Now let's move on to the hot oil treatment. The ingredients that I will be using includes 100% Jamaican black castor oil, extra virgin olive oil, 100% virgin Jamaican coconut oil, eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil, A mixing bowl for combining ingredients and lastly an assortment of measuring utensils for measuring your ingredients. Now let's get started. 
Castor oil helps to thicken, reduce, and prevent hair loss. It reduces and prevents damage, makes hair fuller and shinier. Contains vitamin E and omega-6 fatty acid to help with reducing split ends. The risalinic acid makes it an antifungal and an anti-inflammatory, helping to reduce hair disease. It improves hair strength, reduces knots and tangles, and the list goes on and on. I'll be using half of my container, which is 60 ml of black castor oil. For extra hydration, moisture and sheen, I'll be adding 1 cup of olive oil. Also be adding one teaspoon of coconut oil. Eucalyptus oil also has many chemicals that promotes blood vessel constriction and cleansing, that promotes follicle stimulation, promoting hair development. I'll be using half teaspoon of eucalyptus oil. I'll also be adding 10 drops of tea tree oil. Stir mixture thoroughly to evenly distribute all the ingredients. Pour into an applicator bottle. Use a funnel if you need to. I usually use this treatment for hair strength. When my hair feels extremely dry, or I have a lot of buildup and I want my hair to be squeaky clean. Finally, the body oil. These are the ingredients that I will be using. The famous extra virgin olive oil. 100% African shea butter. 100% pure cocoa butter. One hundred percent virgin Jamaican coconut oil. Tea tree oil. A heat proof bowl for combining ingredients. A container for storage. An assortment of measuring utensils for measuring your ingredients. And finally, wooden spoon for mixing. Now let's get started. Olive oil is loaded with vitamins and strong antioxidants, making it an excellent skin moisturizer. It also helps to stimulate cell repair for firmer and smoother skin, making it a good anti-aging agent. I'll be starting with 120 ml of olive oil. Coconut oil is a disinfectant and antimicrobial which promotes against and heals microbial skin infection. It increases hydration and helps to prevent and reduce water loss in dry skin. I'll be using half of my container which is 30 ml of coconut oil. Tea tree oil is an antiviral, antifungal and antiseptic for cuts, acne and other skin diseases. It smooths the skin and reduces redness and itching, leaving skin feeling soft, subtle and glowing. I'll be adding 5 drops of tea tree oil. The A, B1, B2, B3, C and E vitamin makes cocoa butter an excellent moisturizer and a natural antioxidant healing the skin from the inside out. It is a natural emollient which blocks effect of very cold and hot temperature. It also helps to soothe burns, rashes and infection by replenishing the skin cells. I'll be using half of my container which is 25 grams of cocoa butter. Chop the butter into small pieces which will allow it to melt quickly. 
Shea is known for its healing qualities against skin ailments. It contains vitamin A and E which protects cells from free radicals and environmental damages without clogging the pores. It stimulates collagen keeping skin youthful, supple, nourished and radiant. With vitamin F qualities, it keeps elasticity of the skin and even skin tone. 43 grams is about half of my container and what I'll be using. Place container in a double boiler or microwave on low heat until butter is fully melted. Allow mixture to cool and remove from heat source using a mitten or a towel. Thoroughly stir mixture, allowing all ingredients to become evenly distributed. Then allow to fully cool at room temperature and pour into storage container. Top up with extra olive oil. I use this oil to moisturize my body after showers. For labeling, I simply type the names of each oil on my computer. Cut them out in the small strips, then use clear tape to fix it to my bottles. I'll be adding also a few drops of essential oil for fragrance. You can use whichever oil you prefer. I'll be using lavender. It eliminates nervous tension, relieves pain, disinfects the scalp and skin, enhances blood circulation and has a clean aroma. That is it for today. Don't forget to like, share with some people, and subscribe. It's your girl Momo. Thanks for watching this video. Take care.